Anytime I, I get two sides of a story, I try to look for a tiebreaker because I got, you know, I got this right. one saying this and I got this one saying right. this. So I try to ask other people <laughs> yeah. that were there. Right. Well, and, I was there, but you haven't asked me yet. Well, I, I will ask you. Okay. But uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say what Kendra had to say, but you were yeah, there. You don't know me. Did, did you or did you not stand up in, in, a, in a very gracious way and lead your wife away so they could finish their vows. Yes, it did, but she's a very emotional person. We're spiritual. Okay, I'm and, not asking, and, um, I'm not asking why. I'm that. not asking you to excuse. I'm just asking for the facts. Right. Because er, the people that I've talked to said that, that you were very gracious, that you were very gentle with her, but very respectful of her. Right. And so you recognized that it was disruptive and you got up and led her out in a very gentle fashion. Right. But yeah. that you did recognize that it was very inappropriate and disruptive to the situation. Very so very kindly, you just led her away. Yes, I let her away. Yeah, but she's it wasn't in a very emotional. It wasn't in person. She didn't do it to to to, to draw any wedding. attention to herself. No, no, it, it wasn't is. like that. But that was the end result. Yes, it did draw attention to well, her. I guess it did. And it yeah, did disrupt guess, the situation. I guess so. You could say yeah, that. But I did way, say but that. But that wasn't her intention, though. It but, may not have been her intention okay. because her intention at the time may have been total absorption. And one of the things I'm really curious about is whether or not you're enabling her using no. her mental illness no. No, as an excuse. Never. No. Never. No. Will that man stay on me? Never. No. Well, you asked me to ask you, I okay. did. So right in, the, here's, here's Kendra's statement. And this oh, is a quote. Kendra. Right in the middle of their vows, Wanda stands up and starts singing what sounded like a slave hymnal. <laughs> it was highly inappropriate. Then Wanda slave started. Slave hymnal. Then Wanda started gyrating with her body like the Holy Ghost dance. No one. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. See? See? That's what I did. That That's would be exactly. a bit disruptive to that. Yeah, because I wish she had went through the day before and it was hurting me. And that's why I sang the hymn wow. and didn't say. And you know what? They, they wow. said that Tiffany wants your mother to sing. Oh, wow. They didn't just hand me the mic. Tiffany wants and your mother to sing. And out of all the songs you could have sing, you sleep like, like Kendrick You know why I him. sung it. You know why I sung it. Okay, no, she goes on. No one took pictures or videos because we were in shock. Yeah. Um, so that's what she had to say. So Kendra's joining us via Skype. Kendra, how are you? I hope you call my people I'm doing, too. I'm doing well, Dr. Phil. How you are you? You don't even know me, Kendra. You don't even know me. I, I haven't been around you. Okay, and, hold on, and hold on, like hold that. on, hold on. Oh, listen, the one that shouts the loudest is not the one that's necessarily correct. So I'm not you, doing, I'm animated. This is just how I am. This is okay. how I talk. If that's how you talk, then for now, stop talking. That girl don't know me. Okay. Kendra, you were at the wedding. What happened? Dr. Phil, I was a bridesmaid at her wedding. Uh -huh. And so first and foremost, we showed up and we were supposed to do a rehearsal the, like, the morning before the wedding just to see, you know, how you're supposed to go down the aisle and all that's that jazz. That's a lie. Um, I'm sorry, that's distracting. So anyways, we were playing. I was told there was a rehearsal. So I showed up early before the guests so we could do the rehearsal. Right. Um, and I'm sorry. So we get there and Tiffany's not there. People had showed up, the guests, and we were waiting and waiting and waiting. And then people ended up leaving. People were just leaving the church because they couldn't wait any longer. Um, Tiffany finally gets there. She's completely distraught. You could tell she was irritated and upset. Um, obviously, we were just thankful that she was okay, and we continued on with the wedding. Mm -hmm. um, we walked down the aisle. Everything's okay. They started passing the mic around, saying a couple nice things, and Wanda was the last one to get the mic, and when Miss she got Wanda. the mic... Watch your mouth. Okay, well, she, was, she started singing a song, and next thing you know, she is screaming. She's like shaking her body. She's screaming at the top of her lungs. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. And everyone's looking around at each other like, what is know, going on? Know nothing about church. We, were, we were frozen in Scared. place. Nobody moved. Everyone's looking. I glance over at Tiffany, and she's not crying in happiness. She is mortified, completely humiliated. Wanda throws her hands Miss straight Wanda. out in the air and collapsed backwards. Um, no, I into did. Tiffany's father. No, I didn't. He, his her father just came and took me off. You, you lying. Mm -hmm. You're lying, Kendra. And you I'm, need to go to church. 